So it's undeniable that Bernie Sanders is surging right now. You can see that evidence in national polls and in Iowa polling. We've covered it on this channel. But in two brand new New Hampshire polls, we can see further evidence of Bernie Sanders' meteoric surge happening in real time. The first poll, which came out yesterday, has Bernie Sanders at 29% support, about 7% ahead of Joe Biden, and significantly ahead of Buttigieg, Warren, and the rest of the field. But this poll may be more important because of the Bernie Biden swing effect. What I mean by that is that Bernie Sanders is up 6% in this poll and Biden is down 4 And that's a 10-point swing, which means that relative to the last time this pollster operated, Bernie Sanders has leapfrogged Biden into first place. That's crucial because at the end of the day, Bernie Sanders is going to need to gain, but also see some of Biden's support erode, either erode to other candidates or have Bernie Sanders directly flip Joe Biden voters into Bernie Sanders voters. If this poll is any indication, he's finding some success in doing that in New Hampshire, one of the early primary states. But more exciting, frankly, more shocking is this second poll by American Research Group, which shows that Bernie Sanders is at 28%, but that's more than double Joe Biden, who's in second place with only 13 points. That is an absolutely gargantuan lead for Bernie Sanders in this poll. It shows that Bernie Sanders, in some polling estimations, is winning handily, but in others, is absolutely dominating the field. And if this poll is accurate, it will be a huge blow to the neoliberal media narratives that Bernie Sanders can't win, that Bernie Sanders has narrow support, that Bernie Sanders isn't really a credible threat to take the nomination. Because this will show that, yes, Bernie Sanders always had a shot at winning New Hampshire, but if he dominates the field so thoroughly here, this will mean almost certainly he's stronger in other parts of the country relative to the conventional wisdom. And from a practical standpoint, this is also crucial because we have to remember the 15% threshold rule. What I mean by that is that in the Democratic primary process, delegates are allocated with a proportional system. But to get access to those proportional delegates, you need to hit the 15% threshold. And so only the candidates that hit 15% get delegates. In this particular poll, then, Bernie Sanders would get every single delegate because Bernie Sanders is the only one that cracks that threshold. And while New Hampshire is a small state and the total amount of delegates it has pales in comparison to some of the more populous ones, Bernie Sanders being able to say from a narrative perspective that I won New Hampshire so heavily that no one else got a single delegate will be big news and a big momentum booster for his supporters and for the narratives in the campaign flowing through the media and flowing on social media and so on and so forth. And so this is a really exciting time for Bernie Sanders. Certainly these polls are fantastic and it's showing just how desperate the neoliberal media is getting and why they're getting desperate. I've noted it on the channel. It's not a coincidence that right now all of these quote unquote think pieces from quote unquote serious commentators like Jonathan Chait and David Fromm and Jennifer Rubin are coming out right now. And the reason they're all flowing out right now is because Bernie Sanders is undeniably surging nationally and in the early states, and they're desperately trying to stop him by saying that he's too radical, by saying that Trump will almost certainly pummel him in the general election, and that Democrats are making a mistake, and so on and so forth. But here's the thing, people aren't buying it. At least not enough people are buying it to break Bernie Sanders' upward surge. And this is showing that Bernie Sanders and his people and his movement and his campaign narrative is moving in the right direction. But we should remain cautious because you don't want to assume victory and end up losing. You'd rather assume that you're in a struggle and end up winning by surprise than the inverse. And we have to be cognizant that while Bernie Sanders is doing extremely well in Iowa, 
and he is doing extremely well in New Hampshire, and the early states often set the campaign narrative for the later ones, they are two very small states. And the total amounts of delegates here are really meaningless in the overall count. And there is a chance that while Bernie Sanders could win a lot of states, Joe Biden's major lead in some of the deep south could counteract it. So Bernie Sanders is gaining and that's great, but he's going to have to do even more probably if he wants to score a victory against Joe Biden if current national polling is to be believed. This is by no means over, but what this is showing is that all the Bernie naysayers who said he could never compete, they're wrong, who said he could never win the primary process, they're wrong, who said that he would crash out after the first few early states. They're wrong. And ultimately, guys, I know this. They're wrong when they say Bernie Sanders can't defeat Donald Trump. The polling proves that. The campaign narratives prove that. The fact that Donald Trump is absolutely terrified of Bernie Sanders proves that. And all of this goes to show that regular people are calling BS on these narratives and lining up behind Bernie Sanders. If we keep working hard, to share Bernie's vision and passion and message, then I know he'll continue to surge, not just in Iowa, not just in New Hampshire, not just on Super Tuesday, but in all 50 states.